I still haven't played all the 1.35 countries, so I asked you guys which one I should play. But I did the poll in a stupid way. See, I put Ming slash Ching as the same option. Problem is, they have different mission trees. They share like a little bit, but they're not really the same. But it's my video, so I get to decide, and we're playing Ching. Yeah, you know what's really funny? <laughs> so, despite the number of times I've formed Ching, I've never actually finished this achievement, mostly because I do not like becoming the Emperor of China. Usually I just destroy the Empire, then form Ching so I can maintain my Horde status, but I guess they made Emperor of China a little bit better this time. So, I guess we can do the achievement today. Oh, we have some new stuff in here. Uh, I'll go with that, and that's fine. I think I'll actually sell some titles to start and then take some land back. Okay, yeah, that should be good. We'll take both of these. We only have three rivals. As long as the Khan doesn't die in like four years, we should be fine. Yeah, let me also pick up some cavalry. Like maybe two of them. Okay, maybe three. Lines from Korchin. Hmm, that could be useful temporarily. Now, first thing we want to do is declare on this guy. Or, ah, uh, it doesn't really matter, to be honest. These first few wars are usually not that bad. Ah, there we go. Corshin's gonna deal with that for me. Easy. This doesn't matter, I'll just take that. And I actually will raise all this, why not? Alright, in the meantime, we can definitely fight this guy. Why, why would you fight that? That was a horrible idea, bro, what? <laughs> well, that's, uh, that's GG already. <laughs> Whole place has been looted, plus full annex. I'll even go ahead and raise that. That'll get us the next Miltech and Diplotech, which we can use against Corchin. And why is Nanai now allied to Oirat? <laughs> how, how did you do that, actually? That's kind of impressive. Anyway, we do get perma claims on Manchuria. Nice. Also, let me just go and uh, decrease all that autonomy. And yeah, I'm going to break that alliance. Oh yeah, this guy's actually not the right culture to form Manchu. Never mind. I am going to fight Nanai then. Even if it means I'm fighting Oirat, because, I mean, we have the next tech, they don't. I'm sure we can figure something out. Wait, was my capital always in here? I thought my capital was here this whole time. Wait, did they change it? I don't know. Better be a crazy stomp, watch this. Yeah, I remember to take that early tech. <laughs> Yikes. I mean, I'd rather not fight Oirat right now. Be a lot better if I could just sit in peace, unite Manchuria, live my life, you know? Sometimes you can't have nice things. At the very least, we do get money, so that's good. Royal marriage from Ming, bro. You're already falling apart, don't even ask. Oh, hold on a second. Somehow I missed them. Uh, I love fighting the AI, I love fighting the AI, I love fighting the AI. It's like a game of cat and mouse for five years. They've lost 42,000 people, please give up. Hey, uh, fun fact, Oirat, you don't have the Miltech. You don't have to keep fighting this, bro. We don't have to keep playing this game. All right, we good? Money, war reps, uh, just mind your own business. I don't even care. All right, you, full NX, thank you. You can get divination. Yeah, sure, whatever. What is, wait, what? what the, to sell me the province of Andong for 200. No, that's all right. I'll, I'll just come and grab that later. Uh, just hold that for me. Keep it warm. I'll be there in a minute. Okay, we do have a little bit of money, so I'll go ahead and grab some more advisors. Like, uh, that should be fine. Maybe that's cool. Speaking of money, gonna sell some titles, land back. And I think I'll also pick up the free company, assuming I have no professionalism. So, uh, this is what we would call forming Manchu the slowest way possible. Yeah, I have, uh, not been playing the best. Hey, let me just decrease that autonomy as well. Okay, we have our true sum with Korchin, but I'm not going to invade them because I want to form Manchu first. This gives us cores on all of Manchuria, which means we can just use Reconquest. Super easy, much cheaper. There we go. Pretty sure Manchu ideas are better. I mean, they pretty much have to be. Be kind of weird if they weren't. All right, let's use these cores. They still didn't have the right tech, so this was super easy. While we're at it, I guess we could also pick up Miltech 5. Should be no problem with that. Plus, we get innovativeness. A half cost level 2 guy. Eh, a little expensive, but maybe useful. Easy surrender. I'll just start off by taking my cores directly. These are the cheapest things to take. Then I'll just snake down a little bit. I don't particularly care about these guys. I'll just finish them off later. All right, with more banners, we can refund a little bit of the corruption. Very nice. We've also reorganized the tribes, getting... Oh, wow, that's, that's pretty good. We've gotten almost all the Manchu, so I think that's worth taking. Okay, Niv should be pretty easy. Same thing, Reconquest. Okay, wait, what is this? The Junk Fleet. <laughs> Lightship cost, Naval Force Limit Modifier... Could be interesting, I guess. If nothing else, the roleplay. Oh, here we go. Old guy died, that's okay. Perfectly average 333. I might gamble that a little bit. Yeah. Also, let me insult Korea real quick. That should let us 
finish this mission. Rise of the... I'm not even gonna try it. Oh, here we go. Maybe this is the ruler we need. Let's take a look. Oh my god. <laughs> this is definitely the guy we need. Now, I would normally hold off on Ming a little bit, except they have no mandate, no manpower. I just want their money. The only reason I would hold off is because if I do this, then I get a lot of powerful bonuses as I invade them. But like, that's fine. We don't have to have those. Here we go. Let me grab that. Planexation. And they're already cores. I'm just going to decrease some autonomy. All right, Ming, let's begin. Okay, one quick question. Do the mandate modifiers apply to assaults? I don't know. I guess we'll find out. I lost like 2,000 people, so maybe? Doesn't seem that bad. All right, let me grab that manpower. Definitely use that. Obviously, I'm not going to take the mandate of heaven right now. I don't want Ming to collapse too quickly because I want to go to war with Korea. Which will put me back at war with Ming so I can steal more money. The same reason I'm not taking war reps right now. Just money and these, which are already my cores plus a fort to make my life easier. Ah, shoot. I made Ming bankrupt. Oh, ah, right. My bad, boys. <laughs> How long is that truce again? Ooh, yeah. Hmm. All right, well, <laughs> that's okay. But also, uh, we have to go to war with Korea because these guys are a sleeping giant. Last thing I want to do is let Korea get strong. Fortunately, Ming hasn't entirely collapsed yet, so they can remain our bank for the time being. Also, this has to be the stupidest decision I've seen an AI make, like, ever. I don't think they realize, but they, they can't retreat from that. <laughs> and I've just taken this fort as well. What was the plan here? I was gonna say, invading Korea sucks because of all the mountain forts, and then they just pull something like this. They're just gonna call me a liar like that. Oh, free manpower, nice. I do need 75%. Oh, come on, man. I was just doing a little bit of looting, you know? A little, a tiny bit of trolling. Yeah, just a little bit. Okay, what are you gonna do then, hmm? Am I gonna try and siege that back down? That's funny. <laughs> I like the effort, kid. Ah, I'm just gonna go ahead and take all that. Finishes off a mission. Plus perma claims on Korea. We grab this to lose a corruption. We don't even have corruption, but okay. Uh, I guess we'll grab a corruption. Yeah, I'm also just gonna burn that down. The Renaissance is not gonna spawn in Korea for a while, but we happen to have a lot of points, so we might as well spawn it ourselves. As so happens, we have a grasslands capital. We can upgrade the market town, expand the infrastructure. Make it as cheap as possible. Since we stole all that money from Ming, we can just grab it instantly. Which leads us to the first idea group. Now, normally I would pick Horde, but... Well, we're not exactly doing Horde things this game, are we? You know what would be really funny, though? Alright, hear me out. <laughs> so we can invade Ainu pretty easily, right? We just have to take all the stuff and then maybe hop into here. I actually don't know what kind of range we have on that. Their name suggests that they own the Kurils, which means we can get a claim on... Kamchatka or the Kamchatels and then of course more claims and then we can see Alaska so I'm just saying in theory colonial Manchu all right let me declare on Mongolia we do have some stuff we need in order to form Qing just this province up here so we might as well grab that while we're here Iran should be a pretty easy win oh no <laughs> can't say they didn't try wait I still can't finish this war really they even pieced out with Ming because Ming's losing to wait Chagatai anyway I think we're done now all right, that includes the one province I needed, right? Yes, it does. Perfect. We take the tack right now. It's slightly more expensive, but for innovativeness is nice. 445 is the air. I'd expect no less. Yeah, sure. Let's set up colonial ventures. Gives me innovativeness because I'm surprisingly like the first person to pick it, which is super funny. But you know, I'm not actually sure if I want to do this yet. I'm going to check the bonuses. Okay, we gain siege ability and plus one attack or dice roll for the rest of the leader's life, which is good enough for me. I thought maybe they would be like temporary or specifically against Ming or something. But I'd rather the manpower and war exhaustion or... No, I think I actually just want the stability. That works. Uh, apparently the event Norhachi's reforms happened, but I'm not seeing the event. Oh, <laughs> <clears throat> anyway, how about we do some exploring? I don't think we can explore much, but we might as well. You know, if nothing else, I guess we could just colonize here for the time being. Okay, Ming's falling apart, kind of, but I still think I can make money off of them. So, uh, you know, we'll just go ahead and do that. Honestly, kind of just want their money. I don't even want much from them. Once you become the emperor of China, you can get free cores on all of China. So taking land is pretty pointless. And you know, while the bank is operational, I might as well take a withdrawal. So we can't quite see the new world, but I think we can fix that pretty easily. Let me grab Korchin as a culture. It's Altaic, so I can finish this off. And if I decide to lose less money, then we can finish this off as well. See, that's what I grabbed that money for. More innovativeness. Beautiful. We're up to uh, almost 30 innovativeness, and it's 1468. I've always said the innovativeness buff was uh, kind of unnecessary, but that's... You know what? I'm not going to complain about it anymore. See you later, I knew. Okay, now, Kamchadals, we have a claim on them. Let's invade you real quick. You can pick this up for some core creation cost, manpower, and colonial range. Plus, time to beat up Korchin. 
Oh, I actually have too much mail power. Oof. Ultimately, we're going to expand so rapidly that I, I really don't think it matters whether or not I dev a little bit of manpower. So instead, let me just uh, grab that real quick. We'll spam out a bit of professionalism. I think 20% should be fine. That's it for the cam shadows. I'll actually raise autonomy in here because I absolutely hate dealing with these provinces. They take ages to move through. Next, we get these two. That's convenient. Portion's done. Well, that was pretty easy. Grab that. Yoink. Once again, I don't actually care about these provinces. I only care about the colonial range. All right, let's take a look at North America. There we go. Ming's falling apart now. Uh, yeah, I'm not going to give you anything. Sorry. Actually, you can have some titles. That's fine. Kind of bored with uh, not much to do here. Waiting for the Ming truce and the Oi Rat truce and the Korea truce. So I'm just going to invade Japan. Everyone here is tech five. I have tech six. We already know how this ends. Mongols might have failed, but uh, clearly they just didn't have the right guy in charge. You know, I, I think we should just like go around the monsoons or just like not cross during monsoon season. I don't know. They got any monsoons up here? I don't think so. Here, let me just scorch that real quick. That'll be a easy stack wipe. Guess I should probably take that admin, huh? There's so many forts we have to siege. Okay, well, we're getting around to them. It's always lots of fun invading Japan before they unite. Anyway, oh, yeah, okay. Ming is done for, absolutely. Okay, are, uh, are we good now, Japan? Okay, solid. I'm gonna take Kyoto. Not that I really remember what taking Kyoto gives you, but assuming it dissolves the Shogunate, that should make it easier to invade. And if it doesn't, darn. <laughs> Here we go. 20 prestige, which unfortunately does not turn into the extra points, but that's fine. We get 50 of each point anyway. Now, since we're still a horde, I can just, uh, you know, go ahead and uh, raise that all to the ground. Pick up a little more professionalism as well. Okay, all these guys are independent daimyos. That's great. Means I can just invade them individually. Oh, I should also give these guys land rights. There we go. We got the CB back. All right, I guess we could finally decide to become Ching. I've been putting it off for so long because honestly, I just don't want to. I like being a horde. We're done colonizing up here, so uh, we'll just send this guy into Alaska, I guess. We'll go as far as possible. This place sucks, but it doesn't really get much better for a while. None of these are great, but I'll take war taxes. <laughs> Wait, someone else just declared for the mandate. <laughs> oh, that's funny. That's a good one. That's a good one. I'm gonna take this land so I can border dive yet. I'm gonna need Canton so I don't lose as much mandate. I also want this imperial city, Beijing of course, and a little bit of extra money should be fine. Okay, let's proclaim the Qing dynasty. I'm assuming Qing will probably have better ideas than Manchu. Let me just take a look real quick. Yeah, I mean core creation cost to start with, it's also 10% more. We also get the recovery speed, more banners, more national unrest. Everything looks pretty solid, yeah. And admin efficiency, can't forget about that. Now, uh, let's take that. We also have a lot of estates to deal with. I'll give them a couple things. Oh, supremacy over the crown doesn't apply. Anyway, I'll pick up my point privileges, naturally. Nothing too crazy. New world charters, of course. We're doing funky things in the new world. I'll also pick this up just for the time being. Oh, I'm stupid. We could have just grabbed this and it would have done the same thing as supremacy over the crown. Okay, that's fine. We can do the same thing, but with less corruption. Oh, shoot. I forgot how bad devastation destroys you. Oh, yeah. That's, that's pretty bad for us. Okay, time to start building some forts. We're really in a bad position right now, but before things can get better, they're gonna have to get worse because we have all of China to take still. It's not going to invade itself, though. Actually, considering Chinese history, it does invade itself quite a lot, doesn't it? By the way, if you didn't know, the Unified China CB that we're using gives us free cores on everything that we occupy. So watch this. We have no core. We occupy it, and now we have a core. That's why you don't really want to take too much before you become the emperor. You're losing a lot of free cores. Oh yeah, this is also super helpful. And just so we don't have to take out any loans, I'm just going to grab one more titles. And mandate, that's probably worth it. Oh, also we can get cannons now. Should get like one for each army probably. Uh, ye old value cannon. It might be horrible in combat. But we do get that for bonus. Oh, that's expensive. That's really expensive. But five meritocracy and mandate? I think it's worth it. I'm sorry, what? I got faceting. Seriously. What? No, no Constantinople? No Valencia? Uh, okay. All right, then. Okay, and that should be 100%. Nice. I wonder, can I take all of this in one piece deal? Nope. Not even close. All right, I'll take that then. What about all this? Nope. All right, I'll take that then. Oh, I can't even take the whole thing. That's pretty tragic. All right, fine. Take all of that though. Anyway, let's start with this guy. Oh, Wu actually has the right mil tech. Uh-oh. That could be a real problem. Except our shock rolls are disgusting. Never mind. 
Oh, this is an important event. Uh, okay. So do we want to curb them? I think we do, right? If we empower them, we get a couple things I don't really care that much about. But if we curb them, we get 20% advisor costs on one of the decrees. This is the good decree, right? Oh yeah, that's the core creation cost one. That is beautiful. Okay, we're going to take that, curb their power. And then we need 40% crown land, right? <laughs> All right, we will leave to Wover. Break that alliance, thanks bro. Seems we're the first country in the game to finish off exploration ideas. So naturally, I'm just saying, I think we should spawn colonialism. I think that would be cool. Five mandate for a bit of money, definitely worth it. Yo, what happened to my mill access? What did you do? All right, I'm bringing the ships, I guess. Five meritocracy, one stability, sounds good. <coughs> oh, oh, wait, <clears throat> hold on. Uh, it's, come on, I've been emperor for like five years, don't do this to me. Ah, prospering times, let's see what absolute middle of nowhere city gets improved this time. Ah, the fertile steppes of Buteha. Can you yoink that? And I'll just take all of that. I guess Canton should be next. That is an imperial city. Yoink. Okay, Dive yet got absolutely clapped, so they don't have that much land left. So, uh, yeah, we're gonna do that. Half off dip guy, that's really great. Ah, uh, the meritocracy is kind of suffering still. Actually, this level three guy, I'm gonna bump that up to level four. Maybe even level five. Yeah, we'll go with level five. I'm also gonna cap on mill if I don't do something. But I have devastation I need to get rid of, and I don't have forts everywhere. Say, look at that. Ching is bringing prosperity back to a broken China. Vote Ching for a better future. I promise we definitely won't bring things back to the way they were before. Oh yeah, golden era. We know what America is, and we have a colony there. Normally, we couldn't take this, but if we have a core, then it doesn't matter. Man, I hate having to fight these tiny opiums in the mountains. Okay, they swapped out of stateless society. You can see with these guys, right? Stateless society gives you 75% fort defense. I am not that patient. To avoid spending Diplo, I'm just gonna grab it like this. Completed a mission, what did I do? We own 20 provinces in the- okay. In subjugation on Wu? That's kinda cringe. Do get mandate though. Yeah, I don't know what they were cooking. Apparently I did finish this colony though. Yeah, let me just grab another one like... Oh, that's gold. Yeah, I'm grabbing that. Thank you. Oh, also, uh, yeah, we're gonna finish off Korea. Pretty sure I have a mission for that, don't I? Yes, okay. Let's do that then. While we're at it, this guy too. Should give me a boost of mandate. Speaking of mandate, that seems like a good idea. So what exactly do we want? I think a good place to start is probably meritocracy. Yeah, one stability, 70 mandate. God damn. Okay, uh, let's hold off a little bit on that. Pick up that idea group. Do I want to go full colonial? Like, like expansion ideas? I think it would be funny. It's not practical, but I gotta have fun in these games somehow. Yeah, I'm gonna take it. Oh yeah, the Trapitica. Uh, we're gonna bring that home because it's broken. Entirely unnecessary, you know, in my opinion. Maybe that's just me. Oh, I can't even take all of Korea, damn. Okay, you can keep that province so that no one in Japan gets any funny ideas. We'll come back later. Anyway, we do get the Hermit Kingdom, which allows us to adopt some aspect. Wow, these are really not that great. <laughs> Idea cost. We can work with idea cost. We just grabbed an idea group. Right, we now have enough mandate, so I'll grab that. Oh, painful. Okay, justified wars is irrelevant. We'll grab higher dev colonies. Ah, yeah, that's that's exactly what I wanted. Five more mandate lost. Ah, uh, how about we take the stability instead? I think the mandate's worth more. Okay, next. Dali. What do you want me to colonize? Fully colonize any province in the Alta California area. You know what? Sure, whatever. I don't even care. <laughs> Oh, that's expensive, but all right. At least I'm not paying an admin. Now, Mong Yang, you guys are pretty cringe. So, you know what? Uh, you're Confucian now. Congratulations. Hey, Dali, that's full annexation. And we can take some land back. Which will finish this off. All right, who's next? Not subjugation. That's pretty boring. We'll go for Unify China. And we get a new colonist. Nice. Put that wherever these guys wanted it. So like here, I guess that works. Lose a corruption or lose five mandate. I'll take the corruption. That works for me. Our high harmony reduces it pretty quickly, so we don't have to spend very much. Anyway, assuming everything works out here, yes, we can get everything. Perfect. Grab Jean. There we go. All cores except, except one. Why don't I get a core on that? Wait, what? Why is this province the only province I don't get a core on? All right, whatever. Take that and this. Okay, one of these provinces has to be 15 dev, so we'll just dev this one down here. So eventually that Diplo dev will be worth something. The Eastern and Western bureaus. I guess we just get to form the Eastern one. No Western bureau then. Oh, this is the Eastern one. This is the Western one. Oh, that makes so much sense. Okay, well, we get mandate and meritocracy. That's fine. Now that we can see a lot further, uh, we might as well keep exploring. Oh, please, please don't kill him. He's such a good heir, a 445. This game hates me. Oh, and a plague. Yeah, that's great. That's cool. 
Love plagues. Truce with Ming. Finally, uh, we can fight these guys. I don't really know if I want to fight these guys. Why are you guaranteed by Oi Rat? Okay, never mind. We're killing Oi Rat. Oi, you, I, I, uh, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a do it. Okay, because we went confusion, we should get five extra mandate growth for the rest of the game. You know what? I've got money. Let's put down another colony. Let's see, what's the likelihood of gold around here? Pretty high, right about here. Let's slap them down. Ah, there we go. Ming's now one war, then we invade this guy and this guy. We can unify China super quickly, actually. Hold on. Let's not give them a chance to ally each other. We have a lot of extra points, so what do we need to dev? These provinces, Canton. That would make sense, actually. Let's do that. It's been improved zero times? Really? It starts at 26 dev? All right, if you say so. Now, let's take that. And we can go to war with Ning. Same CB. We annex you. Ming seems uh, a, little, a little bit busy, so... We'll get back to them in a minute. We'll just fight these guys instead. All right, we're done with this. Pearl Estuary gets expanded. Sounds good. Uh, let me just grab that. Yeah, we have more governing capacity issues. Okay, well, next time we're at peace, we're going to get more land. So, uh, land rights it is. Still too much Diplo suffering from success. Let me focus on admin, actually. <laughs> we, we don't have enough admin. We have more than enough Diplo. All right, we'll dev those later, but we have to dev this province here. Need to improve it like once, I think, each of these. Three times. They need to be improved three times. Ming seems a little bit less busy, so we should probably just unify China now. If I want to go fully colonial, I'm going to take this, right? 5% settler chance? I mean, it's not that great. But when we finish this, it would give us an extra colonist for like 20 years. I guess that's something. It's not much, but hey, why not? I'm sure whatever bonus this is, is probably good, but like I could go with the development cost one, but I've already played Korea. I don't feel like doing the dev thing again. We'll just have fun with it. Okay, Ming, that's everything. So we've grabbed Southern China and apparently not Northern China because we need to finish off White Rat. Okay, well, we're uh, gonna need more land rights. So, okay, we do have a gold mine I could boost, I suppose. I do have some extra points to spend on that. 11's probably fine. Ah, here we go. We can finish off White Rat. I think that'll also finish off... Ooh, nope, we're missing one province. <laughs> oh, that's awkward. Ah, uh, we'll get that later. That's okay. Hey, okay, we're almost done unifying China. We just have a little bit left. There's that province, these provinces down here, and we'll actually be done. I also really just want this province over here. So, uh, you know, just gonna yoink that. I really just want that one province. I don't even think I'm asking for very much. Okay, we should be able to crush both of these armies. Ah, uh, hmm. Yeah, see, thing is, I, uh, I don't, I don't think so. Yeah, I, I just, I don't think so. Okay, you will give me some part of China, plus extra, plus that alliance, plus a little bit of screw you money. Pretty sure this gives us fewer floods. I don't even remember. There we go. Potential floods are less devastating. That's good. Yeah, we also need to improve Beijing a whole lot, apparently. 35 development, marketplace, barracks. Okay, marketplace first. I don't think we're going to unify China in the next year, but we really just need like three provinces, so it won't be that hard. Sounds really weird, but I might actually go with average monarch lifespan. How old is this guy? 61 years old. Okay, he's getting kind of up there. Now, if we want him to live as long as possible, uh, we'll just do what we can. All right, gentlemen, I believe in you. Give me a good reason to. We're holding for now. Not looking very good, though. Oh, we're crumbling. Oh, no. I've been let down, but at least we can finish the job. Yeah, we do need Beijing at like, what, 30 development? 35, I think? Yeah, 35. Okay, let me build Eric, slap a bunch of points in there. They're taking ages, come on. I, I just, let, let me, let me out, please. Or you know what? I'll, I'll just fight you, I don't even care. I will fight you. There, happy. I'm taking my provinces, and I'm heading out. That's like everything, right? Yeah, that's the achievement. Pre-1500, Qing of China. That was a bit faster than I thought it would be. And the next month, we spawn colonialism. I wasn't even paying attention to the date. Well, we can't really see the West, but I guess it does make sense. Not really sure what affects the chance of spawning, but either way, that feels nice. That feels pretty good. Okay, before we end things off, though, I want to invade Korea. Okay, changes the development of the Great Wall of China by two. Okay, fine, I guess. I will take out a couple loans. Okay, let me also bump that up to three stability, because we have a mission. It gives us an extra five crown land for doing that. And that five crown land can be used in factional stability for more bonuses. We also need temple in here and a little bit of development. There we go. That's Korea. Uh, we finished off the outer city of Beijing. We could build a manufactory. I mean, that would take a while, but two local goods produced. Is it worth it? Do I care? It's like one extra ducat. I don't care that much. You can get this guy level five. Wait, it's 10? I thought it would be like Republican tradition where it costs 100 to get three, but then 10? Okay, that's free. That's super free. Here, let me put another colonist down. And you know what? I'm going to harmonize with somebody. We'll go with uh, Theravada. 
advisor costs. Okay, that's probably a good place to end things off, I think. We have just shy of 2,000 dev. Whole lot of missions to go through still. Obviously, number one economy. Surprisingly, number one army, because I underbuild my army a lot. But I'm having a lot of fun with this run, you know, a little bit more than I thought I would for playing the Emperor of China. Considering I have played it like twice or three times before, and every time I become the Emperor, I just stop playing. <laughs> this time, Colonial might make something interesting. How about, uh, two and a half thousand likes? We'll go with that. Two and a half thousand. Part 2. Cursed Colonial Empire of China seems to be the direction we're going in. So if you want to see that, you know what to do. But for now, this is Corbett signing off, and as always, have a fantastic day. A big thank you to the patrons this month who all receive early access, including Baby Cal, Isaac, Cravat, Nick Steffel, Q Brute, Quiet Guy, Torvald, Ambient Cyan, Robert Kaleno, James Levy, Luke, Chewy Shoot, The Watcher, Brova, Robert, and Jamie.